All right, you'll be ready to go now. Mm -hmm. Mm. Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. I'm Wesley and this is Jennifer. Oh, wow. <laughs> and today on Keys Customs, we're hovering around the heater <laughs> to talk about what we're gonna do one day. <clears throat> Excuse me. Nope. If it's in the back, staying out. And y'all seen on the last video, that we got the wrecker up and going and hauled old blue collar down the road for a test run for the wrecker i'm gonna pull blue collar in here today and see if we can't get her to run down the road just maybe the brakes are free up <laughs> i've been saying what we're gonna do for brakes <laughs> remember me talking about the rope and the piece of railroad yeah iron? okay <laughs> i ain't got no piece of railroad iron but i got a busted 460 block so we'll hook it and you can ride in the back. When I say stop, you just push the block out of the back yeah, of the truck. Yeah, okay. That sounds yeah. like something I could do. <laughs> so we'll uh, get it in here, put the water pump or crank pulley or brackets. I can't remember what all I took off to get that thing freed up when it was locked up from sitting all those years. But we will attempt to get it running, hoping the transmission will shift get some sort of brakes on it maybe just the front for now because i don't want to put a lot of money into the brakes because i'm not leaving it six lug and i'm not leaving it drawn but we are curious how it's going to run and if the transmission is any good and we would love to go to that fire station that's just so far away <laughs> i mean it's like way over yonder <laughs> So, yes, if we can make it to our test spot, to our fire station, which is three and a half miles down the road, turn around and come right back, that'd be a total of seven miles. That is a win in our book for yeah. running and driving. Uh huh. You think? As long as that guy can get you with a chain, it's a win. <laughs> oh, no, you're going to be riding with me. <laughs> okay. No, it's your truck. You're going to have to drive. Oh, I can't wait. Okay, good. So, yes, I better fix the brakes. <laughs> anyway, all right, guys. Let's get staying out of here and uh, see if we can't get the lawnmower cranked. Uh oh. Yeah, I'm gonna use it to push your truck in here. If I'd get off my butt, would fix the four wheeler, but the lawnmower cranks, four wheeler don't. <laughs> four wheeler needs a battery. Four wheeler needs a carburetor rebuild. <laughs> we'll have to do a video on the four wheeler one day. <laughs> Didn't get it done. <laughs> All right, let me get the battery cable put on this and get it cranked, let it be warming up. Then we'll get your truck pushed in here. All right. I don't know. We might could uh, shoot some air in that tire and push this thing in by hand. Let's see if I can even move it if I put it in neutral. Here we go. Nope. Maybe. I think it'll be easier with a lawnmower. I've tried pushing it on my own, I can't move it. <laughs> so, I got the lawnmower. <laughs> so my phone says it's 40 but feels like 34 because of the wind the wind is bad i've never got this door shut but you know we're silly we are you know why no because <laughs> dan and danny have to shovel snow to get their projects in their garage to work on yeah if they're used to it we're not <laughs> i, I mean they they took one of their tri fives and made a snow plow out of it and dan's out there just ripping it up in his garage and like it's no big deal and you walk out his door and 
snow's that high. Well, they don't have to go half naked in summer either. We do. <laughs> so now. They did get pretty hot at cruising the coast. Yeah. <laughs> They're like, oh my gosh. And what they didn't realize it was is actually cool at cruising it the was coast. a good year this year. Yeah. All right. Wow, did I leave this a mess? All right, D. <laughs> Fuel pump out of the way. And I'm gonna set this outside because it's gonna be yes. Oh wow. Yeah, okay. get away from the heater. Yeah. So which truck was pumping fuel? This one was pumping fuel. Yeah. Because I had to be in that line because it was just squirting nasty junk everywhere. We couldn't believe it was still working. And I uh cut the line coming from the tank that goes to the distributor i'm hoping this copper is going to be decent because that's a spread bore intake with that quarter jet on there i'm pretty sure and i don't know if i have an adapter to put one of my carburetors on there so we'll definitely put a fuel filter on there if it does run worth a crap to keep from having to change it out right now we don't have no fuel filters. No. <laughs> what do we got going here? Here. I strike you. Hey, some light. Let me go get my maybe light. Okay. You know why I call it my maybe light? Because maybe it'll work, maybe it won't. Yeah. <laughs> oh, there we go. It's all, man. <laughs> Where's your um, LED one? I don't have an LED one. I thought you... Oh, I'm thinking of the handheld one. You think about the one you was wanting to buy me for Christmas and forgot about it. Uh-huh, that's it. Okay. Well, that done a lot of good. Okay. Go uh, bump the starter for me. Make sure this thing still wants to crank. Okay. Alrighty. Still wants to live. We'll see if it'll try to hit. Okay. Alright, just spin it over. <laughs> All I need to know. What are you laughing about? Oh. Well, we already cranked it. We knew, or we were hoping that it was still going to crank. But it could have had bent push rods like the, like the wrecker that time. So. Hey, speaking of, come here and look. Y'all remember me telling you about a bent push rod every day? Oh well. <laughs> when I was digging those hooks out for the wrecker the other day, they were in that same box. There they are. We'll keep them for souvenirs. I don't know. <laughs> I was going to put them in the vise and beat them out straight and reuse them. Uh -oh. Let's see if this thing will idle. That way I can check the transmission fluid in it. Mm -hmm. If it seems like it wants to run, I got the belt, fan, all that back on. Make sure all this is going to cooperate. Make sure the alternator ain't going to lock up or the water pump ain't going to lock up. All right clamp there and I haven't put no water in it yet. Alright, try it babe. I'll work the throttle in case it tries to act stupid. Okay. I don't trust that belt. And I didn't have another one that would fit it so I'm gonna stand a little back over here instead of over it. Try it. Not bad at all. Alternator spinning, water pump spinning, nothing's locking up. It'd probably burn all that gas out. 
You can try to crank it. Go again. Yeah. So it's running out of gas. Alright. Let's uh let's get it on the lift. I'm curious to see what this thing looks like underneath. And, we ain't had on the lift. Yeah, we ain't had it on the lift yet. And uh might not want to know. <laughs> what? No say that. I'm so afraid that Okay. Oh, if it's a rust bucket, it's gone. No, it's not. Yeah. It's already a rust bucket, so no, it's not no, going. No, no, it's gone. That's it. This one's mine. His days are numbered. This one's mine. Numbered, numbered, numbered if it's bad rust bucket. Rust don't bother me. Show queen, no. <laughs> well, I'm just playing. All right, hit it. <laughs> nah, 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 nah. Oh my gosh. <laughs> oh, well, now that it's not good, but. I knew that was there. You did? Yeah, that's under the battery tray. Randy gave me another good set of inner fenders. So. Okay. This side ain't terrible. We don't have to have I mean, this cow bushing got another, I don't know, 100,000 left in it, probably. <laughs> All right, so two inner fenders, a radiator support, cow bushings. Mud. Yeah. Like we got a rocker that's going to have to be replaced. Inner and the outer. Cab corner. I mean, speed holes, I guess. This one's a little worse than the other side as far as where the cab went cow mount ties into the rocker same spot right there but they sell every piece of this well they didn't have a whole lot of room to run the exhaust on these trucks with these trailing arms you can see where that one's been rubbing and hitting right there through the years So, hold this for me. What we're gonna do is we'll come in here and cut this out mm -hmm. and put a piece of pipe in there and weld it in on both sides. Mm -hmm. Make it look nice and neat mm -hmm. and run the exhaust through there. Okay. Then come back here and hang two mufflers and then over the rear end with the tailpipes. It's not as bad under here as I was thinking it was going to no. be. No. Uh -uh. I wish this wasn't here because the bed floor is in good shape, but they sell this piece too. So I just don't want to repaint the whole truck because I know you like the patina of it. I do. So we'll just fix the rust, clean and wire brush the rest of it, treat it, and. Uh, do the same to the frame. We'll just do all new suspension because we're going to try to put this one in the weeds. Not on air ride, just lower it. I like to have some chrome bumpers. Yeah, we can do some chrome bumpers. Needs a sport bumper on the rear. And some new mirrors. Now, it was ordered with those RV mirrors. Those are custom. I mean, I don't mind them. I just would get them in chrome. Well. Match the bumper. Yo truck love, so whatever lights your lighthouse. But all this looks to be in really good shape. The rear of the cab, I guess what I'm trying to say. So, body bushing kit, inner rockers, outer rockers, rear cab corners, and we will fix the spots on the rear of the bed on both sides. And try to 
make it look or make it match the best we can. We'll do new springs, all new bushings, upper door control arms, disc brake. I'll do some research and see if we need to do drop spindles and springs or just springs. Or, I don't know. So, you happy? Yeah, we will not have no brakes. <laughs> Not at all? Nope. Why? That's busted. Uh, cool. So it looks like you'll be doing circles in the yard. Okay, I can do that. So we just pushed the truck back. Definitely coming from around the oil filter. Let me grab that rag. Okay. Make sure this thing is, uh, might be you loose. Come on. That's <laughs> great. <laughs> Stop. Why do I torture myself with <laughs> crap? Mm. Loose? <clears throat> no, it's not loose, but... Uh, that's not good, what does that mean? <laughs> I'm sure the seal just shot around the oil filter, but... Okay. What scares me is... Stop! Is, uh... If the block had froze and cracked from sitting up over the years. Oh, no. Not that we're going to use it, but I want to save it. Because it is a 397 0010 block, but you can see where it's coming from around there. Mm -hmm. Okay. Let's fool with it, see if we can't get some uh, the fuel pump to work. I think I've got a fuel filter, I mean, a fuel filter, oil filter over there that we can put on it. And maybe it'll seal off. That way you can run it. And if the transmission is shift, we can ease it around the yard. Because there's no use in putting a lot of time and money in it because we're going to snatch it all apart. Right. Basically, we want clean, nice chassis in up underneath and fix the rust, but we want the outside of it to still look the same, minus the big rust holes. And possibly a 5.3 with a supercharger on it. I had a filter on the shelf so i changed it out okay i poured a little bit of probably about a quart of diesel in it and let it run out after the oil drips uh-huh so it just i mean it was just pure well come look at the oil filter you can just look at that watch you oh yeah that's terrible a terrible. lot of years yeah <laughs> Yeah. There's a ton the last time it was changed prior to being parked up in 1993. <laughs> so we'll pour this fresh oil in it, fresh filter. I uh, went ahead and run the fuel line. I mounted our clicky clacky right there with okay. the zip tie, zip tied the wires out of the way. So we'll just use this rust hole right here. <coughs> For the fuel line to go through <laughs> okay. over into the bed to suck out a jug. All right. And we'll get it running and see if the transmission's gonna need some fluid. I'm sure it is. I hope I have enough or I don't have to send you back to town. Oh no. Okay. But that way, at least you can ease it around the yard. So, see how it does. Okay. I'm more concerned about the transmission because I'm hoping it's a good transmission or a good rebuildable transmission. Right. Because I still like turbo 350s and turbo 400s and I know everybody's about overdrive and so am I on some stuff, but I still like those old transmissions. They're good transmissions. So let me get this plug back in, get it snug. I think it's done dripped about all it's going to drip and drain. We'll uh, 
let it down. I think it picked it up, baby doll. Make sure it's in part, just in case it's got enough fluid in it to move. I'll work your throttle. Oh my gosh. I open the yeah, I'm probably going to open the doors in just a second. Temperature gauge works. Okay. Alternator gauge works. Oil pressure gauge works. Oh. Pull some transmission fluid down in it. Those fumes make my eyes burn. Oh. Oh yeah, they're terrible. So we'll get this in here. All right. I don't see no more oil leaking around the oil filter for this part. That's good. Pull it your hot in, put it in reverse, see if it'll move. Don't touch gas or brake, man. Just throw it in reverse. Nothing. Um, let me shut it off and round up some more fluid. Okay. Nothing. Wait a minute. Hey, try it. I got good rotation. Good. I, just, I poured about another quart in it. It just blew a line. Transmission line. Oh no. Oh my gosh, what a mess. Oh no, baby. Oh yeah. Well, we're not going any further. <laughs> no, it didn't blow a line. It blew the hose off the hard line. Oh man. Gosh, I'm sorry. Oh my gosh. Yep. Oh no. I heard it when I was walking around the truck. I heard something. <laughs> Y'all don't want to sit here and watch us clean up transmission fluid. So 
<laughs> Let me get this cleaned up and get the line back on. Oh, look at the front of the truck. I know. <laughs> oh my God, okay. You can see right here, look. I don't want to get in it. Let me grab my light. See right there with the line blew off? Oh, I do now, yeah. Yeah. Okay. All right. Oh. There's $40 on the ground. That gun. <laughs> I'm gonna zip tie this gas can up. So maybe it won't turn over. And hold my hose in at the same time. Hi right, guys. So this line right here, old and brittle and Blew off the transmission cooler. So there was the culprit that made the mess a while ago. So what I did was just cut the other line and loop them back into each other. There's no use in me putting new lines on it and because we're not this drivetrain and all this is not staying in the truck. So I just looped them back. It'll be fine enough to do a test drive around the yard. Golly, this thing made a mess. <laughs> and hopefully Jennifer won't run into anything. I'm gonna let you do it. Really? Yeah. It's your truck. I know, but I don't I don't like not having any brakes, so <laughs> still going up and down man. Woo! Do you hear the tap? I do. I thought that was a lifter or something. Uh, it might be a little deeper than a lifter. It might be a rod main. Oh. A rod bearing to me. Well, look at us rolling in the I know. blue collar. I'm so excited. Move dog pig. I got no brakes. <laughs> well yes. We definitely have no brakes. <laughs> I mean look. Show. Oh it's not even Okay. It's, it is stuck as stuck can be. I'm excited though, it's rolling on its own. Let's see if I can't make a U turn and get a little longer span in the driveway. Okay. You 
yard has been frozen. Yeah, we might sink out there. So I don't want to get bogged down because the ice is not that. Transmission is shifting. Amazing what fluid to do, huh? Yeah. <laughs> on it temporarily I mean just the front brakes that way we could ease it around some put some wheel cylinders and lines and new hardware and just roll with it yeah to ease the town and back I'll make another loop sure temperature is good oil pressure is good I'm afraid to touch anything you don't <laughs> I don't want to cut the lights on or anything. <laughs> oh my goodness. Man. Another little radio has a light in it. Look at that. Got a little set tape. They had speakers in it, but you took them out. They were rotten, didn't they? Is Wasn't that what those were up on the seat? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Okay. I don't know if they were rotten. They were just... Yeah, when I looked at them on the tailgate, on the inside, there was nothing left of the cone. I mean, I figured they'd have to be, but... You want to drive? No, I wish we get brakes. I'll panic if I can't stop. <laughs> well, you, you can just leave it first and creep. Yeah, I'm, I'm okay. I got you a little path to follow. All right, I'll try. Okay. Be prepared to jump out. <laughs> you just follow this. I've, I've made this path like three times now. So. Okay. as good as it was. I'm afraid to just hammer on it, afraid the throttle blade is stick and off we go. It, no, it'll <laughs> blow the little motor up. You get out and come around, I'll keep it running for you. Oh yeah, I forgot that door don't open. Uh uh you're gonna have to come you're back around. Over. <laughs> Here you take this. Okay. Ready? Yep. Okay. Easy now. I got one. What in the world? <laughs> It'll be all right. Hit the key, hurry. See there. Have faith. Oh, you're making me nervous. She's excited, y'all. Think smoking? Hear the exhaust leak. It's got a rattle in the little motor. Yeah, you can hear it better on this side. Make sure no fluids or anything's leaking. There's 
a rat nest I built smell something that's burning. built in the heat shield it around the exhaust like a, manifold like a, and sparks are falling out of it acorns pine straw there was a rat nest in there it smells like a bonfire in here come here and look side with a gas jug. <laughs> I did want to go. I didn't know it was doing that. <laughs> oh right. crap, I can't get out. All okay, right. go straight to first. Good one. Here we go. Easy. I mean, you can go a little faster than that, but well, just don't let it die. I wasn't trying to. It's I almost dark. Hit the brakes so bad. There is nothing. You can hit them all day long. <laughs> There's nothing, nothing <laughs> I there. I really want to hit them. It's like stomping a concrete <laughs> I just, block. I at least want to cover them, you know, with my foot. Just for fun. Well, you can lay your foot there if it makes you feel better <laughs> because there is no brakes. Yeah, just follow that same path I was following a while ago. I'm so excited. You excited? Yes. I want to go somewhere. <laughs> I'm glad you're excited. I love it. So, yeah, coast. Alright, I'll cut as hard as I've cut. Look, I hear. Watch out for the guide wire. Good job. We gotta get started on that next, y'all. That's our friend, Square Body been sitting for about 15 years I think go to neutral second oh I don't know what I'm in you're in reverse okay let's stop this <laughs> <laughs> you seen the shop getting closer didn't you I did I was like I'm just a turn and go that way again <laughs> all right all right I'll give this back to you you gotta get out and I gotta slide all the way across and then you're gonna walk around it. I'll come let you out. Ta -da! Well, thank you, ma'am. <laughs> I'll give you a tip. Never eat yellow snow. I knew you were gonna say that. Okay. We're gonna drive this to church in the morning? Yeah. We're gonna laugh at us when we undo our wire. <laughs> Fuel pump. Ignition. Just for fun, let's see how easy it cranks back. Come on, girl. She did good. I mean, considering <laughs> it was locked up. Oh yeah, very. <laughs> For those y'all did not see the video, this thing was locked up. Uh, it's two or three videos back, but I mean, locked up bad. Yeah. <laughs> like broke my elbow bad. <laughs> I built that tool to bolt onto the harmonic balancer, and I had that big ratchet and a big cheater pipe, and I was pulling. I mean, bowed up on it. And when it finally did break loose some, all that pressure come down and I hit my elbow right on the crease of that fender and y'all, it stayed sore for two or three weeks. 
I don't know if you can break your elbow, but I fractured it up for sure. All right, let's take these battery cables off. It'll be good till tomorrow. We'll have some more daylight and we'll be able to play with it a little bit more. I'm happy for it. I'm very excited. I bet it's happy. Uh-huh. I am too. <laughs> we saved it. Yep, yeah, we saved it. You can see how bad our mess is. Yeah, well, it looks like a disaster happened in here. Yep, yeah, we'll have to clean up. Yep. Look at my Look tracks at footprints over. over there. <laughs> hey, well. Is this gonna wrap this one up or are we gonna uh, go ride tomorrow? Oh, we don't matter, whatever you wanna do. I mean, I wanna go riding, but. Okay. I don't know if they wanna see that or not, but I do. <laughs> well, just in case we're not back tomorrow, thank y'all for watching. Thank y'all for hanging out with us. Thank y'all for the subscribes, the likes. We enjoy the comments and chatting with y'all back and forth. And uh, that was a lot of good information y'all gave me on those J hooks for the wrecker. So I've already made contact with a friend that has a rollback that told me where I could purchase all that, where I wouldn't have to order it offline. I could go and touch it, look at it, see what size chains and J hooks and all that I wanted and buy right there. It's uh, the next town over, so it's about a 45 minute drive. But there's a place there that sells that stuff. So, anyway, we will see y'all on the next one. Thank y'all. Y'all be safe. Bye.